Upgrading to a new iPhone is exciting, but data transfer can sometimes take too long. Wondering if you can stop the transfer? What happens to your data? Is it safe? This video will answer these questions and guide you through handling the situation without losing data. Part 1. Why cancel my data transfer on iPhone? Too slow. Large data or slow network delays transfer need iPhone. Transfer locks the device. Low battery. Stop if no charger is available. Glitches. Restart if transfer freezes. Unneeded data. Cancel to transfer only essentials. Part 2. What happens if I stop transferring data to new iPhone? Temporary impact. Corrupted files or apps. Lost or incomplete data. Sync disruptions. Long-term impact. Data loss if old phone is wiped. Crashes or boot issues. Frustration from poor performance. Part 3. How to safely stop the data transfer to iPhone. Check status. Identify the transfer stage. Pause. Pause to avoid data loss. Back up. Ensure data is saved. Disconnect. Turn off devices or stop syncing properly. Recover. Restore via iCloud, iTunes, or Tools. Part 4. How to restart iPhone data transfer after interruption. Go to Settings, General, Transfer or Reset iPhone, Erase all content. Restart your iPhone. Keep the old device unlocked. On Android, Open, move to iOS, wait for quick start, and restart. Part 5. How to resume iPhone data transfer after interruption with UData erasing. If you don't want to erase the transferred data on your new iPhone and don't want to reset your device, then Mobikin Transfer for Mobile is the solution for you. How to transfer data to new iPhone using Transfer for Mobile. Step 1. Launch Transfer for Mobile and connect both phones to the computer. Step 2. Ensure the new iPhone is set as the target device. Click Flip to swap if needed. Step 3. Select the data to transfer and click Start Copy. Wait for the transfer to complete. 